Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker, and I'm in Seoul 643. Now there's some strange. This is just a picture right off the uh, right off the cam, right off the website. I mean, there's some strange features just right off the bat. Yeah, I love it. That's guys. I love you guys. Have a good one. That's Will from What's Up in the Sky. I got his video playing in the background. No, he's not sitting in my living room. Uh, you can see these. See how they put this black here? You see the statue that they're blacking out here? This is a whole 3D carving back here. See how it stands out? This is just right off the website. They put this little black smudge right here. They put a black smudge right here. They put a black smudge right here. They put a black smudge here, 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 and here, and here. Another little spot, another little spot, and another little spot. Now, I'm really sick of this nonsense, but there's absolutely nothing that we can do about it as Americans. The only thing I can do is express my voice. And to me, this back here is a 3D statue. You can see how it stands out. But when you make everything one color and you place these black smudges just in the right spots, it just looks like piece of the mountain. Now, I'm going to give you all the links because I want you to go download this picture and take a look back here yourself. See how this I see they put this little black smudge here? It just hides everything. You can see the carvings in this thing. But that's not the best part. That's actually uh, not why I'm here. Why I'm here is because I think I found uh, a comet or an asteroid coming in on uh, Mars. But we'll never know anything about it because they'll never tell us. Now, when you come back here, you can see that I, I'm just fascinated with these black smudges. Because look at how they cut this black smudge in. See what it's hiding back here? Now I'm going to do another video, I'm going to enhance this picture, but, and then I'm going to show, try to show you a little better detail, but this right now is what I want to center on, this little spot in the sky here. May 28, okay. 2014. This is the spot, okay. Now we're in na navigation right. When I pop over to navigation left, which supposedly is snapping the same picture, you know, within a couple of, I guess, milliseconds or seconds. This is what's coming out of the sky in the same area. It's got a tail. Now, of course, we haven't heard anything about this. It's the same picture. Except this picture is a little more mutilated. You know, same black smudges, but they, they mutilate it. This picture's got no resolution whatsoever. But, uh, and I can see, I can f just figure out why. But, uh, this is what's coming in the sky. This is right. There's the spot I'm talking about. When you, I'll give you both links, you'll see it. It turns into this. You're going to be looking to match up this feature here, straight up. That looks like an asteroid or a comet to me. And it looks like it's burning up in an atmosphere. That's one hell of an atmosphere to do that to it. You can see here it's starting to come into the frame. By the time it makes it here, it's really, it's really burning up pretty good. So I'm no rocket scientist. I'm telling you my opinion. You let me know what you guys think. same picture within a couple of, you know, probably a couple of seconds. So the speed to make it from here, you 
going to do the calculations. Two seekers out.